What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the time that I broke my Lexus ISF and I had to be pushed off the drag strip. Stay tuned. So yes, like I said, I had to be pushed off the drag strip um, one time in this car. So let me tell you what happened. This happened back in October 2018, about six months ago or so. I just haven't gotten around to making the video of it and, uh, you know, right afterwards I wanted to make sure the car was okay. And so I was at the eighth mile drag strip that I'm, you know, usually run at. You see all my videos and I had maybe 10, 15 passes already throughout the night. You know, things were going well, uh, you know, no, no sign of trouble. Well, I line up to, you know, for my next race, spin the tires a little bit, you know, kind of get it set how I usually do. And this time when I took off, there was a very, um, you know, a very distinct uh, shake in the back. It, it felt like the wheels were hopping a lot more than they usually ever do. And it was pretty violent shaking. And, you know, I kind of let off a little bit, then started going, got up to the, uh, you know, top of first, top of second. And then just as you're crossing the finish line in the eighth mile with my car, you're kind of banging off the red limiter on third. And when I got up to third, you know, right as I'm crossing the finish line, it's like right as I finished um, the race, like power was cut. And, you know, I kind of just, it was a very sudden, you know, boom, lunge forward. And so I said, you know, what the heck is that? Check engine light came on, um, st stability control, all that, all that lit up. And I said, oh, what is this? So car kind of felt a little weird, but um, it was still going. So I kind of babied it, you know, to the end of the track and then um, turned around, went down the line, got my ticket and went to the parking lot to see what these check engine lights were. I have an OBD2, um, uh, Bluetooth thing that I use uh, with a with a app on my phone and I was able to read the codes and the codes were P0201 and P0204 and that has to do with it's an electrical signal I don't remember what it is exactly I'll, I'll look it up and um, tell you later when I'm showing you in my motor what um, what I you know what I what I checked but anyways I look up that code and I'm wondering you know this is kind of weird um, I don't get it I don't know what it would be so I just clear the codes um, car starts back up, good to go. I said, maybe it's just some kind of freak, uh, freak accident. Okay, fine. Let, so I go back around, line up again, ready for my next race. Start up the same way that I always do. I was actually in the same lane that I was in, uh, pr on the previous run. And then I, you know, like turn green, go same wheel hop, violent shaking in the back. And, um, I usually don't ever feel that with it, uh, you know, in this car. So, not really sure what that was, but then I took off again, top of first, top of second, top of third, cross the finish line, boom, power is just cut again. And um, check engine light turns on, the uh, stability control, all that lights up, and the car is like, you know, hesitating a little bit more. So it doesn't feel as good as it, as it did the first time, like it wasn't going to make it. And then so I go down to the end of the strip and there's a little bit of a um, uphill that you're going up. And as I'm going up that hill, the car just shuts off on me. And so I go, what the heck is this? Um, you know, so I put it in park, um, try and restart it. The car is not restarted, you know, not starting. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not really sure, you know, what to do. I'm at, at, at the end of a drag strip and I'm trying to, you know, hurry up and get off the strip because I don't want other people to be, um, you know, waiting in line or anything like that. So I, you know, try to restart it. It just, you know, kind of like, ticking over, you know, tick, 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 not starting, not turning over. It's like, oh, great. So, um, they can see that, you know, I put on my hazards. They see that I'm having some trouble there and some of the event staff, you know, take the golf cart that they have to, um, help people out or just drive around, come up to me. Hey, what's going on? Everything. Okay. I said, yeah, I just can't get my car to, to start. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, so they said, all right, well, we can give you uh, a push. So that we can get so that you can get down into the parking lot and figure out what whatever whatever it is you need to do and so that was good with me um you know we tried it a few times to restart it and it wasn't uh, working so i put it in neutral the two guys um you know got in the back pushed the car got it going and uh i was able to kind of coast it down this little hill into the parking lot to try and figure out what is going on so when i'm in the parking lot i run the codes again same two codes P0201 and P0204. And so I look, I go, okay. Um, like I said, I can't remember what the exact wording is for those codes, but 
Um, it has to do, to do with the, an electrical signal um, to the fuel injectors. I, I know that just off the top of my head. It's been a while since I looked, but I'll tell you exactly later. And so I, um, you know, pop the hood, see what's going on. Um, you know, I wanted to, uh, uh, first I try and clear the codes and um, they did clear from what I remember, but then I uh, tried to restart the car and it was not restarting, even with the codes cleared. So I was wondering, oh great, you know, this it's maybe like 9.30, 10 at night. I'm about 50 miles away from home. And I'm thinking, great, I'm gonna to have to take the ride of shame home on a flatbed and figure this out tomorrow. So uh, I don't have, I, I don't really bring any tools with me to the drag strip. So it's not like I can really work on anything there. And, uh, but I did remember that I did keep the, the little tool kits that um, that come with the ISF, you know, I think there's just like a wrench and a couple other uh, uh, little pieces in there. And so I said, well, it's, elect it's an electrical problem. Um, from what I'm reading on these codes, maybe if I just reset the battery, then that will fix it. And so I disconnected the battery, waited about a minute or so, and then reconnected it. There's spark, you know, so I, you know, it's, it's uh, there's, there's some power there. And then I uh, say, okay, I'll give this another shot. So I, you know, put it in park, foot on the brake, press start, tick, 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 not pulling over. I said, oh boy, let's try this one more time and hope for the best. So I, uh, you know, try it one more time and the car kind of, you know, takes a little bit longer to tick over, tick, you know, tick, 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 vroom, starts up. Great. Perfect. The car is started up. Um, you know, the check engine lights are gone. Good let me get out of here before, um, you know, this car shuts down on me again. And so I kind of pack up all my things, keep running. Uh, you know, I, I go and, um, and, uh, get, I guess the tires all, uh, inflated up and everything. And don't, I, I'm not going to run again for, uh, for that night because I don't need this to happen again, nor do I want the, uh, the flatbed ride of shame home. So I drive home, take it easy. You know, nothing, uh, no worse for wear. It kind of, everything seems normal, but I didn't really run it. You know, this was happening right at red line. So, I mean, I was just cruising on the freeway. So maybe nothing over 2,500 RPM. Make it home. Uh, I'm glad because it's maybe, you know, 10, 45, 11 o'clock at night and uh, park it in the garage and say, I'm going to deal with this tomorrow. So I deal with it uh, tomorrow. I wake up. And um, I start reading a little bit more about what these codes are, PO201 and PO204. And it's, uh, it has to do with cylinders one and four. Um, so I go and uh, do some reading, do some diagnostics uh, from what people have said online. And um, let me show you now. I'm going to go out to under my hood and you can see kind of what I checked. Okay, I just looked up the codes and before I show you what it is in the engine bay, it is a uh, malfunction with the injector circuit. So PO201 is for cylinder one, PO204 is for cylinder four. Now let me show you what I did in here. So what I read online is some people saying, you know, the easy fix is check to make sure right here, these injector, uh, this, you know, this, uh, this is all tight and this is, you know, plugged in correctly. So I checked that for all the cylinders. Here's one here, one here, one here, one back here, and then there's one in the back here. Too many wires to kind of show you, but I just checked all eight of them. Kind of just pushed them in to make sure they were, you know, nice and snug right here, right here. And then right here, and then there's one back there too, which you can't really see, but that's what I did. I just made sure that they were all kind of tight and, um, and you know, there's no uh, connection issue with that. So now that I checked all the connections, that the connections were tight, um, I went and took my car out for a drive and I went out to a closed course and did the same kind of runs that I do at the drag strip. Uh, you know, taking it up and making sure that it wasn't happening again. Well, I can I can confirm that I have never had this check engine light uh, appear again in the past six months. I have taken my car to um, 
three different uh, drag days since then and ran it on four different road courses along with my normal daily driving. Um, so I've put on a, a good amount of miles, maybe at least mm, 3,000 miles, you know, a lot, uh, including all of those uh, track days. So I've definitely put the car through its paces. I've never seen those uh, codes again and I, was, I wasn't able to replicate it um, ever. So I'm really not sure what was going on there. I, from what I think happened is um, there was, during that violent shaking during the, uh, you know, maybe wheel hop when I was launching, maybe something got jarred loose and the uh, electrical pulse that is, you know, sent to the um, fuel injectors, you know, didn't get there or I, I I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm just speculating. I'm not a mechanic by any means. Um, that's just what I could, I think that um, is what happened. If you, um, if you do know better or you know exactly what happened, please write it in the comments. I'd love to know. Uh, maybe it could help somebody out that you know, that happens to them in the future and what they can do. But, you know, lucky for me, it was a just a very quick fix, just making sure all those um, connections were tight. And um, since then, I've had no issues with the car. So that has been the one and only time that this car has let me down at, uh, you know, just driving or at the track with, you know, anything going on. It's It's been my only two check engine lights that I've ever gotten with this car in three years of ownership, which is uh, pretty good, I would say, for as much as I run her on um, road courses and the drag strips. Um, I can say that, you know, I, I think I can give her this this one time pass um, for the, the the tough love that I give her. Uh, it's been a great car. I, you know, I I guess every car has its, uh, its times where it lets the owner down, but this is the the one and only time. Uh, and it was it seemed like just a, a freak. Um, issue so um, I can't give her a pass but yeah I just wanted to share that that, that story with you all on how I broke my ISF and uh, how I was able to fix it lucky for me it was very quick and I, I will say though I was pretty embarrassed on uh, on the drag strip when I was sitting there unable to move thinking oh my gosh everybody is lined up waiting for me because for whatever reason a Lexus of all cars has broken down um so luckily it was it was able to uh, it only took a, a few minutes to get me off the track and you know continue to the uh, continue the racing uh thanks to those guys uh, that worked at race legal that were able to you know help push me off um to get you know get me out of the way and uh, get me into the parking lot to try and figure this out so thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something if you have experienced these codes ever let me know kind of when it happened down in the comment section what you did to fix it or if you do know better and you are uh you know uh you you have found out the exact reasons why maybe you're a pretty handy mechanic or something like that let me know too because i would love to learn kind of what happened um like i said earlier that's just my best guess but you know what do i know so uh thank you for watching this uh video if you like this please subscribe to the channel and uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I, I'm gonna post up a couple more videos, you know, that surround my head right here, right here, right here, right here. So if you want to watch more on the Lexus ISF, then please do. And thanks for watching.